What is up guys, my name is Arisa Spoken and today I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a video where I'm talking to camera because I've got a nice fancy camera that I kind of use every now and then, but not as much as I'd like to pretty much. So in today's video, what I thought I'd do is seeing as we're kind of still near the start of the year, I was going to do my top five games that I'm looking forward to this year. So obviously my opinion, my games that I'm looking forward to, it's probably not going to be games that you guys are going to be looking forward to, but maybe some of you I'm not too sure to be honest so at number five I'm gonna say it's Red Dead 2 pretty much we all know Red Dead 2 is coming at some point this month uh, this month this year uh, but we don't know when it's coming the reason why it's my number five is because there's no information about it just yet that's the only reason why I'm, it's my number five if we had more information and I had could have a bit more of a plausible kind of ah, oh, yeah this is what it's gonna be like then it'd probably be higher in the list but because we've got no information, and to be honest, in my opinion, Red Dead 1 could have left it at that, and that's it, pretty much. So that's why it's my number 5. And number 4, again, similar thing, is Days Gone, which is a, from the looks of it, like Walking Dead meets Last of Us kind of zombie game, pretty much. Um, I think it was at E3 2015, we saw this big trailer of this guy uh, running away from something, turns around, looks at a big, like, kind of boat container and then these big swarm of zombies just kind of fall out pretty much so i'm really looking forward to that i love my zombie games at the moment i have been absolutely hammering h1z1 i think i'm a hundred hours gameplay at the current moment um i've only been playing it properly for the last couple of weeks um but yeah number three it's gotta be crash bandicoot crash insane trilogy yes i know it's just a rehash of the first three games but it's crash bandicoot it's my my childhood, me growing up, pretty much. Well, the main it, Crash Bandicoot was the main games that got me into gaming, and it's a it's a stepping stone. If they see that Crash Insane Trilogy goes really really well, Crash Team Racing, Crash Bash, Crash Twin Sanity, games like that could get remasters as well, and I would happily have a collection. I just have them sitting on my side, pretty much. I'd happily have a collection of them, pretty much. And number two, just because at heart, again, massive Mario fan, is going to be Super Mario Odyssey that's coming out hopefully near my birthday in September. Because then it gives me a reason to buy a Switch. I'm not buying a Switch on release day, no way. I don't, I'm not a Zelda fan, unfortunately, so it's not going to be a game that I'm going to want to play. Um, I'm not too bothered about 1 2 Switch, and I'm not too bothered about ARMS on release day. So I'm not going to drop 350 quid on a console that I'm not going to play. But Super Mario Odyssey, it looks really good, but. I need to play it to see, that's the thing. It's going to be one of those games, it looks very weird, so I need to hope that it's like a typical Mario game, and just what they've shown us is just kind of like the hub area. Because he's running around a, t a city, and he's throwing his hat about and stuff, and I'm like, uh, but we were like that with Super Mario Galaxy, and look how incredible that game kind of sold and was. So, fingers crossed, Super Mario Odyssey, we're, we're going to hopefully have a good game. But number one... And just because it's always been one of my main games that I play. So my first game that I normally always play is first person shooters. The second game that I always play and I have kind of a, like an untold love for it. Like I see it in an arcade, I see it at Comic Con, I go straight over and play it. It's Tekken and Tekken 7. It's coming out on June, I want to say the 2nd. I, I, I'm I going to be picking up the new, a new fight stick for it. I'm going to be picking up the game. I'm not going to pick up a special edition of it because it's Tekken don't really think there's a reason to have a special edition in my opinion except for unless it's got a statue but yeah Tekken has always been I have grown up with the Tekken games I've played one all the way through I've played both the Tekken tags only thing I didn't play Tekken wise was that Fatal mobile game Fatal something pretty much so as I said it's the only one I didn't play really but yeah that's it guys I just thought I'd do a bit of a two camera kind of thing if you guys enjoy content like this and I kind of the reason why I also did this was look back through all my videos and a lot all my vlogs and all my talking to videos where I'm talking to camera got really good views so I was like if you guys are enjoying content like this I'll bring it back that's the thing so let me know in the comment section below if you do want me to bring content like this back um or if you don't and you just want this video to be the only one that goes up, um, let me know. Um, as I said, there's going to be plenty of more content coming over the next couple of months. Once I've got my gaming PC, which fingers crossed will be turning up soon, um, we'll get straight into it and we'll see what we can do. But as I always say, guys, my name is Rufus Spoken. This has been my top five games for 2017. And I'll see you guys in the next video.